Mate, just uh, as an academy player, it was my boyhood dream come true to wear that blue and amber. You know, I remember being a kid and there was a couple of clubs interested in me. I want that blue, but there was a couple. And uh, I hung on for Leeds. I wanted Leeds to come. And they were last ones, typically. Uh, but Dean Bell, I remember Dean Bell come with me and sort of give me an opportunity. Gary Everton spoke about opportunities. Sometimes that's all we ever need in life is an opportunity. And uh, I jumped out with both hands, both hands, and never looked back. Well, we're an amazing club, you know, because we, want, we will facilitate any events like this. You know, we really value, you know, the youth development. Youth development's been part of our DNA for 20, 30, 40, 50 years. You know, hopefully, you know, we're going to have a really strong contingent, you know, over the next several years, and that's certainly the plan, but it never ends. Leeds will always attract players. We hopefully, you know, can get more through to first grade, you know, and keep improving them. The fans love homegrown players. They are important. Uh, they've always been significant at Leeds Rhinos. Historically, these evenings are really good, really strong. It's a chance for us to, um, to, to celebrate you know, all the young players coming into the Rhinos family. Um, and, and tonight's been really special. You know, we, we've had Jamie who, who came up and talked and talked about his, um, about his pathway and, and about his journey. And, and, and I think, you know, the, the, the guys, when they're looking across the room and you're looking at the young kids, they're all, they're all in awe of him and listening to his story. And, you, you know, it's, it's been great. It's been special tonight. I got a couple of things, but I wanted to wait for Leeds. So against Featherstone, I think it was, they came to watch. And, um, yeah, that's when I found out. Uh, my dad told me. Uh, well, my dad told me last year in about October that Leeds Rhinos were wanting to offer me a scholarship. And I never really thought about any other clubs since then. So, I mean, I'm over the moon. I'm really happy to be at this club. And hopefully I've got a bright future ahead at Leeds Rhinos. The time we spend watching the games over a two, three, four year period makes a big difference to the type of play players that we actually bring on board at Leeds Rhinos. And I think it's also important, you know, to mention, you know, the importance of community clubs and what they do for young players. Um, schools, again, significant. Interestingly enough, you know, watching, you know, on Twitter, James Graham going back to uh, Thatter Heath, the club where he started you know, giving, I think it's his golden cap to his community club were amazing. And it just shows you what it meant to him to do that for his community club because of what they did for him. Never forget where you come from. The off season's come, you, you know, you, sometimes you're twiddling your fingers. I've obviously been kept busy with the 18s, um, but, but really excited about getting the guys in. They're, they're coming tomorrow, they'll do some testing. Um, and then we can start next week full on, so you know it's exciting times. I'm the only one from Siddle, so I guess when I'm here I'm going to have to do Siddle proud and yeah, I hope to develop onto the first team. Yeah, I'm very excited, it's a dream come true for me, for, um, especially. I've been wanting to be doing this for years and been putting hard working.